aren't command strips supposed to like I don't know hold things up my poster fell and I am lazy to hang it back up so it's just kind of sitting on something because I still want it in the frame <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Allie and this week's episode of American Horror Story was blotchy. There was a lot of things happening. There weren't a lot of things happening. Michael Landon coming in, stirring drama. We had people rebelling. We had people having sex. We had people dying and a lot of just truth coming out, I guess. We find out that Miss Venable apparently was making up rules on her own, so that's why people were rebelling. Then we find out some truth about how some people feel about other people, specifically Evan Peters' character, how he feels towards Nana. Nana dies, and I still have a lot of questions. So the very beginning, we have snakes in Emily's room, which is like, why are they specifically in her room? That's a question. So then Miss Mead and her like bodyguard, whatever security lady comes with her and they take the snakes and they're being fed to the people in outpost three and we see the chopped up snake in the soups but then once the people lift the lids off the soups they're back to life and are slithering all over the table. So it's the second question of what kind of sign is that? Who is doing this? Michael re-explains to the people that there's a new sanctuary, there's other food, they're more than welcome to come except he has to evaluate them to see if they're even worthy um, to help repopulate the world and in doing so he's interviewing them. The first one to volunteer is Evan Peters character who I feel like I should know his name. Mr. Gallant. Why is that? Why did I not know that? So he's interviewed first, there's this weird sexual tension that happens in this interview with Michael and then next thing you know, Mr. Gallant and Rubber Suit Man makes an appearance, as you all know from season one of A Murder House. They end up having sex, Nana sees, Nana then turns him in and tells the outpost people like, hey, uh, like, I'm conflicted and I don't know if I should turn him in, but this is what happened. So she does it just so that she can have a spot in this new sanctuary. He is then sort of tortured, but then let go. I can't remember for what reason, really, I guess to get revenge on Nana. Then Timothy and Emily are snooping. That's when they find out that Miss Venable has been lying, that Michael's kind of there to punish Miss Venable because the people above her, the council, found out. And so then they're kind of like, screw this, let's just go for it. Then they're caught, they're being held and tortured, but then they escape and end up shooting Miss Mead in the process, which we find out she's not human. That's another question, like what are you? We see the shot, but it's like not a normal bleeding. It almost, I don't know, I guess because I didn't really like look at it, but it just reminded me of the pink stuff that McDonald's uses to make chicken nuggets. Also, I feel like it was like mannequin-like. Like, you know, like it's just hollow and it's just weird. Um, Michael also has like weird sexual tension with Ms. Venable when he's sort of interviewing her and they kind of almost kiss but they don't. He puts in a really vulnerable spot because he has her strip so that he could see and evaluate like her body to repopulate the world. We don't see a lot. We see her back and we see that it's kind of messed up. It's kind of hunchback like and because of this he tells her that she doesn't pass meaning she can't enter the sanctuary. I guess it's not really brought up again. But we learned something new about Miss Venable. With everyone rebelling, it's just kind of whack. Everyone just wants to get in the sanctuary and they'll kind of do whatever they have to to be a part of this new fully food stocked place. As I had mentioned, Mr. Gallant, Evan Peters character, was with Rubber Suit Man. Now his entire thought process was that he thought it was Michael Langdon the whole time, but it wasn't. Michael Langdon even tells him, like, I wouldn't even sleep with you if you're the last man on earth. So that gets under his skin. So the second time that the rubber suit guy ends up showing up to his room, he stabs him with scissors and he's just going at it. We then see out of frame that Michael has walked into the doorway and is watching him. Mr. Gallant turns around to see that it's not Michael, turns back around to see who the heck he was stabbing, and it's Nana. He kills his grandma. 
Joan Collins, RIP. And so there's a lot of mind tricks going on. So it's like, does Michael Landon have powers? Because we see when he lets Mr. Gallant go, he doesn't even touch him. The, the little cups just kind of just undo. So is it him just messing and playing games with the house, having everybody turn against each other? Like, is that the real evaluation to have them go to this new sanctuary? Is there even a new sanctuary? And then the snakes. What's up with that? It's probably him too. There's just so many questions. The whole time, of course, I feel like you should know this already, Miss Venable was just killing it. The sexual tension between her and Michael Landon, I'm like kind of here for it. Next week's promo, we'll have more questions. I'm thinking the witches are back next week. I'm excited for that. Y'all already know Coven is my shit. We gotta stay tuned for that. I'm really happy they actually gave us a promo this time. Something to look forward to. Tight. So give this video a thumbs up, comment below on what you thought about this episode and Michael's way of evaluating everybody. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you here next week. Bye!